Hello again. Okay, I've been asked to do another video on how uh, VTAL works. But I thought we'd start with this one here. This is the Sky Eye. This is for my friend London. He wants to know how this works. So basically, ailerons. Elevator. rudder and obviously throttle makes my dog go crazy so with cornering you should be using a combination of the ailerons and the rudder or you can just use the ailerons and back on the elevator called the bank and yank so that's a standard setup for this plane the sky eye or any normal standard plane okay so here we are with the UAV 3000 it'll be quite hard to get this all in the shot um, basically everything is the same We have <laughs> ailerons, elevators, both of them coming up and down, both of them going down. This is where it gets different though. This is the rudder. And obviously, throttle. So, you need to set up VTAIL mixing on your transmitter. I'm actually using it on the Eagle Tree Guardian, which has VTAIL mixing built in. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Always fly with a combination of the ailerons and the rudder for cornering, if you can. Or if not, just use the bank and yank. But my advice would be to practice on the sky eye first before you go to something this big. Because you don't want to crash this one. You will cry. I know I will. When I crash it. It's not if, it's when. Well, hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you. One last thing. <coughs> um, setting your fail safes. I've set mine so if I lose radio, my flaps come down, my motor cuts out, but my flight stabilizer continues to work. So I'll show you how that works. I'll give it some left aileron, a little bit of throttle, and I'll turn the transmitter off. Motor stops, flaps are down, Ailerons are back where they should be in the centre and hopefully it'll glide to the ground. <laughs> Let's hope we never have to try it. 